Once upon a time in the middle of my nursing career, I was assigned to work as a nurse case manager um, for uh, those soldiers that were deploying and redeploying and then deploying again uh, during the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. But then I was lucky enough after about a year of that to be assigned with the 5-2 Striker Brigade. And I um, got to work just directly with them, with those um, soldiers, with the doctors, physician assistants, many other nurses. It was truly the best job I ever had. At the very beginning, you're gonna see me holding my coin, my 5-2 Striker coin. I showed you a picture of what a striker looks like. They were supposed to deploy to Iraq and they ended up um, kind of the last minute switching and having to deploy to Afghanistan. Many of these soldiers were killed over there. It was one striker was blown up, then another, then another. And the unfortunate thing is when you start to see pictures of their names on the walls uh, of the monuments, you'll see how with the dates and you'll see five at a time seven at a time four of them that particular day that's because that's how many were inside that striker so you'll also see a picture of um somebody that was uh, um one of my best friends that i worked with Corey, and he was one of the first that was hit so he was killed in august and the last time i saw him was july 4th at the parade here in our town for 4th of July parade. And then um, they all got ready and deployed shortly after that. And then in August, he and many others were hit. During the ceremony to put up the monuments, I met many of the parents, mostly mo mothers of the soldiers that I was working with. Uh, for a few years and it was just such an honor and a privilege to meet them and hear about I knew I knew their son in a particular way and then I got to meet them and talk to them about how wonderful it was that I ever ever got to know their son their sons I also got to meet Corey's mother she came up from Arizona for the the um, ceremony for these monuments and it was a privilege to meet her, such a beautiful lady. And then you'll see as, as I go on here with this video, every Memorial Day, I go out to the park, the Memorial Park, that acknowledges many other of those soldiers, men and women, who died in combat and who died not in combat many from suicide, many from other different reasons, um, but they are acknowledged. So look at all their names, so many names, uh, so many lost souls. And it sometimes it just feels like yesterday that that part of my life was happening. And sometimes it feels like so long ago because it was a long time ago. It was a really special job. It was intense. I met some of the best people ever. And I will never forget that job, and I will never forget being the nurse case manager for 5-2 Strike Brigade. We also, when they returned, had a balloon memorial here in the community. Um, and I'll do a video on what that was like. It was really amazing. We did a butterfly release as well. There's so many ways to memorialize somebody and preserve their memory and honor them. And um, to this day, I am still good friends with many of these beautiful mothers and fathers and sisters of the soldiers that I got to know. Thank you for watching.